Hello everyone! In today's video, we will explore how you can easily integrate between Activity Timeline and Advanced Roadmaps for Jira, which is a very popular feature available for Jira Premium Cloud users and Jira Data Center users. As you probably know, Advanced Roadmaps provides a great overview of the project where you can see the timelines of tasks and projects as well as their dependencies. However, while it's great to see the project plan, it could be difficult to understand whether the plan is realistic from the capacity standpoint. That's where the activity timeline comes in place. In our tool, you can easily see if the plan created in your advanced roadmaps is feasible from the resource availability perspective. Here is how you can integrate these two systems, so that any change in one place will automatically transfer to the other. Firstly, we need to make sure that the date fields are the same. For this, go to Activity Timeline Configuration. By default, the start and due date fields are used in these two apps. This means when you change the plan in Activity Timeline and then switch to Advanced Roadmaps, you'll see that the timeline of the task is adjusted after the refresh. Here is a good example for this. It works the same the other way around. We also allow integration on the team level between our plugins and the roadmaps, and this could be done by either importing the roadmaps teams into the activity timeline or by using our team field in advanced roadmaps. We will show you how you can do this both, as both are super easy to configure. To import teams to activity timeline, go to activity timeline configuration, third party integration, then to advanced roadmap integration, insert your email and Atlassian token, which you can get through a provided links to import the teams. Once this is done, you'll see the list of imported teams in Activity Timeline and can use them the same as native Activity Timeline teams. However, the drawback to this approach is that you only have the roadmap teams in both systems, and Activity Timeline team only stay at our plugin. For a more robust integration on a team level, we recommend using Activity Timeline's team field to do the integration. Here are the steps to follow. First, go to Configuration, then Jira Integration, then create an Activity Timeline team field. We go into details on this in some of our previous videos, which we recommend checking for more details. Then, open Advanced Roadmaps, Fields, Manage Custom Fields and click to add Activity Timeline field in the list. Once this is done, go back to Plans and add this field into the list of displayed fields. And that's it! You can now use the same fields across both plugins. So, whenever you assign something to a person or a team level, the other system will immediately pick it up and show it accordingly. Let's check how it works. As you can see, we can switch back and forth between the systems and the plans are always up to date. That's it for today. As we said from the beginning, the integration is very easy and straightforward, but can bring a lot of values for users of both Activity Timeline and Advanced Roadmaps. There are other useful videos about Jira and Activity Timeline on this channel, so feel free to check them out whenever I have a free minute. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to our support, which is support at relax.com. See you in our next episodes.